Fox had large breasts. They were a steady little earner for her throughout the 1980s. She and her breasts even enjoyed a small degree of success together as a single pop star. Then it all went a bit quiet until she signed on for an ITV reality show called The Club. In the show, Sam competed to manage the best bar against two other celebrities. Dean Gaffney, um, everyone's favourite joke, <laughs> Richard Blackwood. <laughs> Welcome to the club, everybody, on ITV2, five nights a week. Sam provided what passed for drama on the club by clashing with Steve, an IT specialist cast as a member of Dean's bar staff. I don't think he likes women very much. Sam thinks I've got a problem with women. And it all came to a head on fancy dress night. What is your problem with me? You have been lovely to me, Sam. And yeah, then, what and is your problem? Let, 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 let him talk. Sometimes you get drunk and you're completely vile to me. When the show started going out, and it was six days a week, we spent a lot of time together, Sam started to have a drink sometimes, and I didn't like the way she got. Drunk? And, and I, yes! I don't even see you. I'm at the bar. Oh, my God. Right. Sam Fox, dressed as a vampire, not only three sheets to the wind, she was every sheet in the world. You know what I am? I'm an actress. Darling, when you learn to be an actress, then you'll know being drunk doesn't make you, um, uh, you know, like, brilliant in life. What makes you brilliant in life is when you're an actress, when you're a performer. I don't need to drink to be like this. It wasn't just warts and all, it was only warts. It was really ugly telly. I don't even drink, Steve. You lying cow! Goodbye! You lying Goodbye. cow! What about sending your security guard to fetch your double vodka and cranberry after you stormed out of the interview with me don't yesterday you think, because you didn't have the guts to speak to me? Don't you think my security man drinks? This woman used to be the nation's sweetheart, and now she's just turned into this horrible pantomime villain. It was, uh, it wasn't pretty. Just before Sam's leaving, she said to me... It's a shame about your little oh, knob, you isn't it? You lying cow, you stupid, silly cow. It's a shame about your little knob, isn't it? Which is ridiculous. I mean, I've, there's no way that Sam could have any evidence about that. Yeah, well, it's well, not so, quite the makeup we'd had planned. It wasn't, no. We were hoping you know that they were going to kiss and make up. You are, you're sick. But they're not going to kiss and make up. You are sick. Um, you're sick. You know why you're jealous? I'm sure we'll be in the package the next bed. week. But here up, is last it. week's top ten moments. And so Sam flounced off into the sunset. Possibly a tequila one. No such luck for the former Mr Whitney Houston Bobby Brown.